just a glitch in the nervous system. Hi. You really need all these coursers roaming the halls? If it were just a limb twitching, perhaps. But her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movements while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what you do. If you're about to launch into one of your impassioned speeches about artificial sentience and machines with souls, don't bother. I've heard enough of them right now. Hell, I can write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is like a living above person ground. by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines, so we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Dr. Benet, you know where to find the telephone. Please don't just get any moment. germs on I never me. said that. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Well, it's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. You do well to remember that. All our divisions are important. So, Alan could be the Patriot. Hey, Doc. You've arrived at a momentous time. Our third generation synths are a true breakthrough. The culmination of centuries of research. It's no exaggeration to say that they're superior in almost every way to human beings. What makes them superior? The list of improvements is exhaustive. I can talk for an hour and still not cover all of it. Imagine what you could accomplish if you could live without fear of hunger or disease. Imagine what you could create if you could spend every waking moment of your life as you saw fit, with no need of sleep. Like I said, a momentous time. Max, the is there anything else? Just father's legacy. They're his gift to humanity. No, that's okay. it. Two robotics terminals. That doesn't matter. Plan system upgrades. Uh, and I, that's not really. That doesn't help me with much. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so none of that matters. Okay, let's let's talk to the other guy. The guy who thinks that the Today is synths have souls. Excuse me, doctor. Ah, it's you. Welcome. You're finally with us. I just like to apologize for any trouble our synths may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity, and they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interests, most of which I designed myself. Uh, not to make problems for you, though, I, uh... Will you be staying with us, then? I'm thinking it over. Well, I hope you do decide to stay. It would mean a great deal to Sean. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. I'm guessing that father is eventually going to try to give me the kid as like a replacement or something for his actual son or biological son, whatever you want to fucking call it. Can I? Okay, I can't go to processing. All right. Well, this place didn't have a leader anyway. It was just like a exploration sort of thing. So we got one more. Where does this go? Hey! Who's on the other side? Where the fuck does it... Where does it lead? Yeah, I'll take all that. Thank you. Jesus Christ! Alright, let's... Sure, let's pick a lock. Why not? That's it. Uh, I don't need the recorder. I'm good. The wait, what? The FEV lab. That looks familiar. The term looks familiar. 
F-E-V, that is. Ah. Bioscience terminal. Uh, phase two development. Uh, what to create? We've engineered creatures that inhabit the sky and the land. The next logical step is a creature of the sea. The greatest challenge remains data collection, accurate measurements, behavioral data, life cycle, habitat, etc. Might Nahunt have something useful? A note to self request that we allocate a scavenger team to that area. So which aquatic creature makes a good candidate? Start with size, nothing too large, nothing too small. Most promising candidates? There are a lot of typos in this. Uh, genus Delphinius? Genus, yeah, whatever. Uh, On-site habitat will be a logistical challenge. Expansion of bioscience likely necessary, including large water tank. Many logistical challenges to implement. Facilities division likely to oppose this. Have to pitch this as the first step in a broader plan. What else can we, uh, or can go in the aquatic habitat? Can we grow food there? What other experiments could we do? Could we develop underwater synth models to carry out sea salvage operations? Uh, probably far-fetched. Need to work on this more. We'll table this journal for the time being. Focus on other priorities until I can come up with more reasons that will, uh, that Jesus, that will benefit from the aquatic habitat, can still gather data in the meantime. Uh, Warwick Homestead Initiative, mission statement. Uh, this initiative was conceived to facilitate field testing of various genetically modified specimens in the unique climate of the Commonwealth. It is hoped that we gain insight into the effect uh, into the effects of trace radiation on the growth and developments of said specimens. We of the Bioscience Division are in full agreement on the following hypothesis. Subjected to the proper levels of ambient radiation and soil pH such as these or those found in the exceptionally fertile soil at Warwick Homestead, our modified seed specimens are likely to exhibit accelerated growth rate and twofold increase in size. Project implementation using genetic manipulation we will develop a unique breed of that uh, with similar characteristics to those commonly farmed in the commonwealth step two acquire roger warwick uh, patriarch of warwick homestead I keep on hearing this but i don't know what that place is uh, and conduct a series of intensive interrogation sessions to learn all we can about his life and family step three with the intelligence gathered in stage two, create a synth replica of Roger. Oh, and this is where. Okay. Uh, and embed the unit on site at Warwick Homestead to oversee the operation directly. SRB will handle logistics of this aspect of the initiative. Step four, begin covert deliveries of prototype seed batches for planting. Step five, collect observational data from embedded unit. Stage six, when sufficient data has been collected, retrieve synth unit and specimens for lab study purge all surface evidence of the initiative so they like investigate this area get the information they can from this particular place and then kill everyone that was there to see it am I am I reading that right Jesus Christ behavioral anomaly report director Holdren here are the de details you requested uh, in reply to the grill behavior behavioral anomalies a total of 16 incidents of heightened aggression have been documented bioscience personnel who witnessed these events myself included would categorize the level of aggression displayed as extreme and dangerous in all six synth Handlers have been destroyed by guerrilla attacks. As for what triggers these behavioral changes, I speculate that it's a reaction to perceived conflicts. Several attacks followed heated uh, arguments that took place within earshot of the pen. Another occurred soon after the recent SRB security sweep. It seems clear there's a fault in the behavioral model. I doubt it can be corrected. I know you're against it, but I think we have to consider destroying them. Uh, failing that, I recommend that we, or that all contact with the gorillas be limited to synth units only. Bioscience uh, personnel uh, should not be permitted to come into contact. The risk is simply too great. You access logs. 
All right. Where's this lead? Also, where are all the fucking people? Or synths, either one. Okay. Oh, so they're studying, uh... Dr. Holdren's they're studying gorillas. ...showing promising results. So you were there the day the bombs fell. That must have been terrifying. Yeah. Sure it was. Anyway. Liam's been trying to teach me robotics. It's more complicated than I thought. Uh, <clears throat> well, you're gonna have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. Alright, thanks for the input. Most men lack the patience to observe and document plant growth. Hey, Doc. Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. Someone's a little full of himself. Hardly. There is no place for ego in science. I'm simply trying to tell you, in as polite a manner as possible, that I am busy. Now, goodbye. Well, fuck you too, then. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. So they created synthetic gorillas. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? God, get off of my dick. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat Dr. specimens Holdren. in the hydroponic garden. Something I can garden. do for you? You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't yeah, I think find I better him. medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Director Holdren Clayton. seems Anything very I can help taken you with? You? Is there anything I can do to help out? There might be. Tell you what, you get settled in and check back with me later. I'll see what I can find out. Hi, Isaac. Okay, so there's just one more person to talk to. We've seen all of the additional facilities that there were, but there was uh, that one door that I could unlock back here to the FEV or whatever it was. Yeah. Not exactly sure what the FEV lab is. That's why it's sweet being unlocked right now. Ooh. Okay. So this place is a little bit less happy. Alright, yes. 
I bet this is eventually a quest or something. I probably shouldn't be accessing this right now. But meh. Oh. Hi there. Movement detected. Possible stealth unit. Fuck me. Ah, uh, that didn't help, actually. God damn it. Oh, well, that's... Not oh well. Repeat. Area not secure. Assault Where are these other... Alright, I'm just gonna unlock it. Takes less time than hacking. Nice. I am revealed. Feel free to show up. Anomaly detected. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh shit, 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 shitty shit. What is happening? Okay, I'm dead. All right, fuck. Come on. Pick your legs out, bitch. There we go. Oh, come on! Weapons cold. Okay, okay, okay. Uh uh. I'm gonna say real quick. I think I got it pretty good there. Really? That's it? Then. There. Okay, and it's gonna explode now. <laughs> Which is, I think is just absolute bullshit. But hey, whatever. Leather right leg? Well, maybe that's better than what I have. I don't know. Actually, it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll just drop that then. Cool. I was not expecting that to be better than what I have. Whatever. Pleasant surprise, I suppose. Uh, let's save one more time. Jesus Christ, that was not a fun little fight to have to get in. Did not like that creature. Aw. It's a dead cat. That's not a happy sight. Yes. Yeah.
my quick save took place before I went in here, and I don't know if this is technically bad what I'm supposed to or what I'm doing currently. So if this gets the entire institute against me, I'll have to reload. So I'm kind of nice. relying on my saves. Uh, or my manual saves for this other area. Seems like we're almost done, though. There we are. And I can't seem to... Get this damn thing. There we go. Ah, more unlocking. Jesus Christ. Got it. Whoa, super mutant. What is this place? What's the deal with this whole whole area? Because that doesn't make any sense. They're dead cats and super mutants and shit. And also synths. It's a very strange place. There we go. Turn off the turrets, even though I'm pretty sure I killed them all already. What? <gasps> FEV! That's right! So they're making super mutants. What the fuck are they thinking? And Virgil, that's where he... Okay. Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August. 2178. Ten years ago. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here oh. is fine. Oh, 110 one years ago. Exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from, but, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized, but I really do hope that the consequences are understood. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just hmm. received another batch of subjects. But, as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. 
Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. So I'm guessing that they abandoned the FEV project and just kind of let it die. Just judging from the state of this place, the fact that one of these tubes was destroyed and one of the mutants escaped and died out there. Yeah. Alright, subject status. Deceased. Tagged and discarded. Terminated. 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 Uh... What day is it? Okay, so... July 10th, 20... What was it? 2277, so 10 years ago. Latest round of testing complete. Results are... All within expected parameters informed Dr. Zimmer directly as he ordered the test personally. He seemed annoyed with the results, unsure what he was looking for. He declined to specify why he wanted the test to run, a uh, run, to, or sorry, test run to begin with. I just realized something. Informed Dr. Zimmer directly. Dr. Okay. And Dr. Zimmer, I was mentioning how Dr. Lee was from the uh, Project Purity whole thing from Fallout 3. Dr. Zimmer was the guy in Fallout 3 looking for that synth who had escaped and made it to the Capital Wasteland. God damn it. Okay. All right, so this is about nine years later, April 10th. Um... I've officially assumed the lead role. This is Brian. This is Virgil. I've officially assumed the lead role on the project after Dr. Siversen's passing. Um, latest round of subjects show results similar to previous test runs over the last five years. No statistical deviation noted. Synthetic organics continue to perform well. The necessity of further tests is unexplained. Uh, February of the next year. Um, Nothing new, always the same, have entered formal complaint with Directorate. These tests are not bringing in any valuable information. The Organics uh, project was spun off decades ago. Why do we insist on continuing this? And then all inquiries about this project should go straight to the Director. The lab will be offline until further notice. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out a way to help Brian Virgil in all this. Is there anything else? No? I haven't picked anything up that could help him. I mean, I've, I've learned all this information, but I, there's nothing really here to help the guy out. Ah, there it is. That's what I needed. The experimental serum, right there. What quest does that belong to? Is it just miscellaneous? Yeah, okay. I will eventually do that. I was wondering, there had to have been something. Oh, I found it. Alright. Back to work. Hey there. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Not really. Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, alright. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. 
If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Use the network scanner holotape. To find Patriot, I'm guessing? I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Dr. Hey Fillmore. Hi there. Something I can help you with? Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Allie. Hi there. Something I can help you with? It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. All right, the Big D demanded a tutorial be included, so here it is. Short version, plug this into any Institute terminal and copy the message. Long version, Patriot's been sending us short-coded messages for years using an evil little encryption scheme. It was a bitch and a half to reverse engineer. Patriot's got skill, but I nailed it. Put this holotape on any Institute terminal and it'll deliver a gift-wrapped message straight to Patriot. You're going to into the belly of the beast, friend. Don't trust anyone. That's all there is to that. So I've got to upload this to a terminal. So let's go ahead and upload it to the FEV lab terminal, because why not? Actually, let's save real quick, just because reasons. Okay. There. Initiate network scan. Right, read urgent reply. Acknowledge meet at the advanced systems maintenance room. Okay. Advanced systems. All right, hold on a second. Meet Patriot. And I need. I still need to talk to Father. Excuse me. Director Holdren. I'm going to save real quick. Seems very taken with you. All right. I guess I'll talk to Patriot next. But it also says I should talk to Father. I'm guessing Father is like the next... I don't know. I don't imagine talking to Patriot will immediately mess things up for the Institute. Because I'd like to flesh this out a bit. I'd like to get an understanding, a bigger understanding of what's going on here. Even more so than I already have. I thought hey, so. It's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. Trinity? What's that? Trinity is an encryption system with a cipher or key cut up into many pieces. You need several pieces in the correct order to unlock it. I put a Trinity piece with every synth I helped escape. It was a long shot, but I was hoping some good Samaritan would connect it all together. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow. Your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? 
The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad? And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. How did you help Synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? The SRB is the exception, and unfortunately, they control which Synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from, let's say, bioscience can get a hand-picked Synth on surface detail. And it turns out the railroad was waiting for them. Wow. You saved a lot of synths. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Alright, so I'll follow Liam. You know my <laughs> father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. Who's your father? Beignet. I'm not sure if we could ever yeah, okay. this actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? I'm pretty sure his father is the one who thinks that sins have souls. If I'm not mistaken. I'm afraid Good. I may have just made Easy a decision here. as to whether Someone or not I'm 14. with the Institute it's or not, me. though. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous, and you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z1. He's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just a few okay. security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. All right. Okay, so this is like a long... Okay, I'm glad. I, I was I was worried that this was going to take me... Or, or like this was going to require me making like... Uh, or require me to make a big decision real quick. And uh, that wasn't something I was wanting to do. I was wanting to kind of pace myself a little bit. And uh, be able to talk to Father or Sean. Uh, so I'm glad that it gives me that opportunity. I need to go upstairs, though. I don't know exactly what's going to be involved in this uh, assignment here. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to Father. Okay, just a little bit further upstairs. I do think it's kind of creepy that everyone refers to him as Father. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? 
First things first. How do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives.